She's a critically acclaimed actress now playing a prominent role in the Vagina Monologues in Español. With me here on Comunidad del Valle, we're honored to have uh, actress Eliana López. Bienvenida al programa. Muchas gracias. gracias. Well, now tell me about uh, the, the reason for doing this in Spanish. And I'm going to tell you what my mom would say, but tell me, <laughs> tell me first of all about the, bringing the Vagina Logs first to San Francisco and then in Español. Yes, you know, I moved to San Francisco five years ago. Um, and the first three years my, I was with my son because I, I don't have any family here. But then um, now my son is in preschool and I said, okay, I want to go back to act. I grew up in theater. I had a career for more than 20 years working in TV, movies and theater. And I said, okay, what I'm going to do? And then I started looking for a, a company where I can work with. And then I realized it's not really a lot of Spanish-speaking shows mm -hmm. for our, com our community. Even though we have a huge bilingual and Spanish-speaking population, we don't have a lot of shows. And we have actors here. We have designers, directors, Latinos that want to work. And they don't want to move to LA or Miami. They want to stay here. So I say, OK, maybe what I have to do is produce the show so I can act again. <laughs> and I can pr um, be in a Spanish, producing theater in Spanish. My son can be, I, I'm not going to be the only one speaking in Spanish. Right. It's like, we are a big community, and I'm receiving a lot of support for local, from local business, um, uh, community support, so I'm very happy that I'm going to be acting again in Spanish in San Francisco. Well, good luck, and this is happening again through a Valentine's weekend at the Brava Theater in San Francisco. We'll have all the info uh, for you in just a bit. Um, did you, when the topic came up about doing the monologues, did, mm -hmm. it, did, it, did you give thought or did your people give thought to how is this going to go over with our kids? You know, in, in Venezuela, when Vagina Monologues were there, was there, my dad and I, my dad is a theater director, he's 85 right now, and we said, what is that? <laughs> we are not going to see that. Um, <laughs> they are going to be making jokes about us. I'm not agree with that. And then last year here in San Francisco, I was invited to act in English. So I read the script in, in English and I thought, oh my gosh, my prejudice. I was missing this powerful play all these years. This year has been uh, performed in 140 countries from 1996. So it is a powerful play. It is important for us and also it's important for Latinas. Mm -hmm. Our culture is very machista, el macho. Mm -hmm. So we need to go to the theater and have the experience that see the actor there and say, I thought that that was what I was feeling, but I didn't have the words to express that. And that is the magic and the powerful experience in the theater. So I invite, don't think it's going to be something uh, that you will feel bothered. It's going to be a play where you feel connect, when you feel happy, when you are going to be laughing and crying with all this experience. I, I'm so happy we are going to have Vagina Monologues in Spanish. Uh, let me ask you this now. What would, how would you get my mom there? Because her first reaction <laughs> would be, Jesus, Maria and Jose, what are they doing there? So how would you get somebody like my mom who's old school, uh, eso no se habla, no se no menciona, no. no. Entre las amigas tampoco se habla. Mm -hmm. So, um, she did this uh, play, it's more than 200 interviews, 200 interviews. And one of the most powerful and beautiful uh, monologue is a woman 70 years old. So she's telling 70 years old her experience wow. about her feminidad, about we are mothers, we are daughters, we are sisters, and we have a powerful and beautiful world inside that we need to share. So I, I not only invite your mom, I also invite the parents, the fathers, the sons, mm -hmm. the, the husbands, to understand more what sometimes we don't know how to express, but we have that feelings inside. Maybe it'll provide us with more understanding, more respect toward women and the yeah. female body. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and also we live in a world where 
everything is men. The power is men. Every, everything is moving. Not in my house, but yeah, everywhere yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and no, and we, we put aside the lo femenino and just the, the, the both together, el hombre y la mujer is the only way to to have a new life, to mm -hmm. create a new life. So we have to respect the women, and and this is a beautiful play that is uh, with women about different ages, lesbians, uh, this 70, 70 years old woman, uh, daughters, little girls talking about rape, about uh, motherhood, about relationships. It's, it's, I, I was reading this play with my dad, who is 80, mm -hmm. 85, we were crying right now in December. I, I told him, look this, we have been missing this. And he was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Everybody has to see this because it's a serious play and it's also very political, it's very revolutionary mm -hmm. and empowering our, our women in our community. And in the Latino community, I think it's very important to very see Vagina Monologues. So come to Febrero 14 to Vagina Monologues in Brava Theater. Also, we are going to support uh, Brava Theater who needs a lot of help. And it's a beautiful space in the center of the mission. So come and in, celebrate love with us. There it is, the uh, Monologos de la Vagina. And there is uh -huh. the web address for more information. Uh, Valentine's Day weekend. What better way to spend uh, your uh, lover's weekend exactly. than at this play? We'll be back and talk a little bit more about uh, this great performance when we continue. Stay with us. We're talking about the Vagina Monologues in Espanol here with uh, acclaimed actress Eliana Lopez on our show. And now, you had um, Maria Conchita Alonso as part of your performance. Tell us briefly what happened. Yes, she was. I was very happy that she, that I will be really, I will be in the stage with Maria Conchita sure. Alonso because she has a beautiful career and she opened a lot of doors for Latinas in the industry. Uh, unfortunately, that couldn't happen and she decided to resign because she didn't want to, that this show that she loves, she didn't want to, the show becomes in something that is not real, the play. Mm -hmm. So yes, she resigned and we are very grateful for that. Uh, and then now is coming Alba Roversi, who is, was La Tia Iris in the last uh, soap opera in Telemundo, Marido en Alquiler. Mm -hmm. She was the most dear character in the soap opera. And also I know her, I worked with her like 10 years ago. Oh, okay. She is fantastic. Also Marisol Correa from Colombia, who is this an amazing actress. And I'm really happy that the cast is not just names, it's actress, real actress that are going to be there performing. And it's the only way just with professional actors is that the real power of the play can really go to the audience. So I'm very happy that we are going to have, and we have all this local business supporting us, and it's, it's really from the community to the community. Well, it sure seems that way. And you, mm -hmm. you just finished a, a run in Miami, the, the performance did, and it did well? They have been doing this show they had in Miami and in New York. Also, Alba Roversi and, and Marisol Correa are the two strongest actors in the show. And they were like more than 30,000 um, uh, people going to see the show. And in New York, they were sold out also in Miami. So this is a, a, a proven success. So please come us and have fun that lovely weekend with us in the theater. Also, for the Latino community, we bring a lot of um, singers, bands, music, festival sprays, that is very nice, but also the experience of the theater is so important for our community. Right. And you've seen it, uh, I mean, you've seen it on YouTube, you've seen clips uh, on television, but this is, uh, it's unique, it's in Espanol, so. Um, yes. is, is that, do you, do you think anything is lost in translation or on no, the contrary? No, it's not. <laughs> It's not in Spanish, we, it's very, you know, I read it in English the last year and when finally I read in Spanish, it was so much powerful. It's not the same to use your own language right. than another language. So in this case, now that I am working with these characters, 
I feel more connect with them. All right. And thanks for the language. Uh, well, great. Uh, it's happening uh, this coming weekend, uh, February 14th through the 16th at the Brava Theater there in San Francisco. There's a web address for more information. Uh, any final thoughts, Eliana, before we let you go? Please come and join us. This is the first step. I hope we can bring more theater in Spanish to our community. And because as I say, it's a lot of Latinos that want to work and produce theater here. So this is a great opportunity to start that path. Very good. Uh, great. Thank you so much. Thank you for Thank coming. You. And suerte. Thank you. Gracias. And up